the question today is on linear motion and we are going to talk about approaching bodies so the question reads a bus left nairobi at 8 a.m and traveled to kisi at an average speed of 80 kilometers per hour a car left kisi at 9 30 a.m and traveled to nairobi at an average speed of 120 kilometers per hour given that the distance between nairobi and kisi is 400 kilometers calculate then part a the time the car arrived in Nairobi, part B, the time the two vehicles met, and finally part C, the distance from Nairobi to the meeting point. So, to begin with, for part A, we are required to get the time the car arrived in Nairobi. So, in order to determine the time the car arrived in Nairobi, first of all, we determine the time it takes the car to move from Kisi to Nairobi, and time is given us distance over speed and the distance is 400 kilometers and the speed is 120 kilometers per hour so that the time is three and a third hours so three and a third hours is also three hours 20 minutes so once we are done with that we can now get the arrival time so the car arrived in Nairobi at so we take 9:30 and then we add 3 hours 20 minutes so remember the car left Kisi at 9:30 and took 3 hours 20 minutes to move to Nairobi so the car arrived in Nairobi at 12:50 am so that is for part a then part b the time the two vehicles met so first of all we are going to have a sketch so we have the two towns nairobi and kisi and the distance between the two towns is 400 kilometers and we are told that the bus leaves nairobi so this is the bus at a speed of 80 kilometers per hour and it is leaving at 8 a.m. Then for the car, it is leaving at a speed of 120 kilometers per hour and the time is 9.30 a.m. So by the time the car is leaving, we know that the bus has already covered some distance so the bus is somewhere here still moving at 80 kilometers per hour and the time now is 9 30 a.m so between 8 and 9 30 the time is 1 hour 30 minutes so within the 1 hour 30 minutes the bus has covered some distance let's call it d so first we can calculate that distance by saying distance is speed times time and the speed of the bus is 80 kilometers per hour times the time taken which we now know is one and a half hours so when we calculate this we are going to get 120 kilometers therefore we can now determine the distance between the bus and car at 9 30 a.m so at 9 30 a.m when both the bus and the car are moving, we have this distance here. Let's call it D. So the distance D is simply obtained by getting this distance here D, the small D which we already have as 120 kilometers. So let's write this 120 kilometers. So D is simply 400 kilometers, which is the total distance from Nairobi to Kisi minus the small d here which is 120 that is the distance between this point and this point within the 1 hour 30 minutes so that that distance d is 280 kilometers from there remember the question requires us to get the time the two vehicles met so First of all, we'll determine the time taken by the two vehicles to meet. 
So in order to get that, we need D, which is 280 kilometers. Remember, this distance D is the distance between the two vehicles. Always use the distance between the two bodies, whether they are approaching each other or moving in the same direction. So we have this distance and another requirement here is the relative speed. And remember, the bodies are approaching each other. So we have the car from Kisi to Nairobi and the bus from Nairobi to Kisi. So because they are approaching, the relative speed is obtained by adding their respective speeds. So we will have 120 kilometers per hour plus 80 kilometers per hour. And that is 200 kilometers per hour. So the time taken to meet is therefore distance d over the relative speed which is now 280 kilometers all over the relative speed 200 kilometers per hour this when worked out is 1.4 hours 1.4 hours is also one hour 24 minutes so this is the time taken by both the car and the bus to meet each other and this time is measured from 9.30 a.m. So the meeting time will simply be 9.30 a.m. plus 1 hour 20 minutes so that the time finally is 10 oh sorry this is 24 not 20 so 10.54 a.m. Finally, for part C, we are required to get the distance from Nairobi to the meeting point. Once again, let me sketch this. So we still have here Nairobi, Kisi, and at 9.30, we have the bus here and the car leaving Kisi at 9.30 is am so the speeds still remain the same so we have meeting point here they're supposed to meet at this particular point and the time they met we already have it as 10 54 so what you're simply going to do is to get the distance from kc to the meeting point remember our aim is to get the distance from nairobi to where they met so we get the distance from Kisi to the meeting point and then subtract it from the total distance. So that will give us this distance here from Nairobi to the meeting point. So let's say that the distance from Kisi to the meeting point is obtained by the speed of the car times the time it takes. And the speed of the car is 120 kilometers per hour and both the car and the bus from 9:30 took one hour 24 minutes which is 1.4 hours so we multiply by 1.4 hours and that should give us 168 kilometers so once we've gotten that remember that now is this distance here 168 but our aim is to get this other distance from Nairobi to the meeting point. So we finally say that the distance from Nairobi is simply the total distance, which is 400, minus the distance between Kisi and this point, which is 168. And that is 232 kilometers. So Alternatively, you can calculate the distance covered between 8 a.m. and 9.30 a.m. by the bus and from 9.30 a.m. and 10.54 a.m. Thereafter, you add. So, that is it for this question. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.